This is the Amazing Beer Drinking Man, and today we're going to do our first Attack of the Stouts review. So I've got my three stouts out. Only one of them has been cooled. Let's figure out which one it is. We're going with the Left Hand Brewing Milk Stout. So we'll put these aside for now. We'll be seeing those in the next day or two. Dug out my Guinness glass. Haven't seen that in a while. This will be the first, this is actually the first milk stout I've ever had to drink. I've never had a milk stout before. They are not brewed with milk, but they do use lactose sugars in them, which is a derivative of milk. Uh, they tend to be sweet, and that's the whole concept behind them. Stouts can be bitter, as we all know. Uh, they usually have that strong, a lot of times even a coffee flavor or a chocolate flavor. I know, I was looking online, didn't get a lot of, there's not a lot of information on this. There's a couple different malts. One of them is a chocolate malt, and chocolate malt can be kind of bitter too. So, now, if you like our reviews, please go ahead and sign up for our channel. Leave some comments. We love comments. We'll always respond to the, can the comments. We got a little left hand cap here. Now, my wife's left handed. I'm not. So, we'll pull with our right. Wow, I gotta get pretty aggressive with that pour to get any head out of it. No head at all. We expect it to be very dark and thick. That's typical. Oh no, we're getting a little head out of it now. Yeah, I can't even hold it up to the light. It's just pitch black. So, in the dark, foamy head on it. A little bit of lacing on the glass. Just a little aside about my Guinness glass. I went to I've only been to Disneyland once in my life, actually Disney World, once in my life. This is my one souvenir from Disney World. So, let's see what we got for aromas. Actually fairly mild. Ah, there's a little bit of the malt, and you can smell a roasted malt. A really strong, roasty flavor to it. Even a little bit of that coffee flavor. That's really it. That's, or at least that's the overpowering aroma. Let's go ahead and give it a drink. It's surprisingly thin. Again, I, when I drink a stout, I'm expecting to have a stronger, well, not stronger, but a thicker, more viscous mouthfeel. This is surprisingly thin. I definitely taste that chocolate malt. You get a nice, strong, not overpowering, but a nice, strong, that solid, dark chocolate, coffee, roasted malt flavor. Yeah, coffee is the overpowering flavor on this. Much like the aroma. The aroma, really, that's what I was picking up. It's not unpleasant. Get a little bit of a bitter in the aftertaste from the hops. So it's malt up front. And maybe a hint of the sweetness. Not a lot. When we say this is going to be a, this is supposed to be a sweet stout, I'm not really picking up that much sweetness out of this. A little bit of like I said, a little bit of bitter after uh, bitterness. I wouldn't say aftertaste. It's late. It's a late bitter taste, but the aftertaste, the aftertaste is probably where you get a little bit of the sweetness in the back of your throat. I tend to drink my uh, stouts a lot of times in a, like in a brew pub, I'll have them for my dessert. I'll have a couple of beers with an appetizer and a meal, and I'll finish up with a stout for my, uh, for my dessert. This is a, it's a nice stout. I'm not jumping up and down over it. I'm not thrilled with it. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, if you really like that coffee flavor in, in your stout, you're going to really like this one. Uh, three caps. I would definitely drink it. Three caps, I'll, uh, I always say, means you're at a party. 
You've had it's a big cooler there. There's five, six, seven different beers to drink from. You have this one early. At the end of the night, you're going to have one more before you leave for your designated driver. And you say to yourself, eh, maybe I'll have another one of those. Doesn't, you know, it wasn't something you picked it up and went, wow, I'm going to drink it all night long. But there's nothing wrong with it, and you definitely would have a second one somewhere along the line. Until next time, this is the Amazing Beer Drinking Man. We'll have one of our other stouts next time.